A big hiccup on the last day to register to vote in Virginia. A fiber cut shut down the state's online voter registration portal. It only came back up a few hours ago. This also impacts early voting. Voters had to use provisional ballots. Ten on your side, Kayla Gaskins has the latest on the problem and its impact. A rough start to the last day to register to vote in Virginia. Issues with the state's online system left people no other option than to register the old fashioned way in person. A small mishap in Chesterfield County caused massive problems around the Commonwealth today. This morning, a Verizon fiber in Chesterfield County was inadvertently cut during a roadside utilities project that interrupted internet access for much of Virginia government, including our Department of Elections. Around 3.30 this afternoon, the election website was finally back up and running, but most registrar offices close at 5. So for a large portion of the last day of voter registration, no one could register online. First-time voter Joanna is one of many who had to change their plans to drop off registration papers in person. It's frustrating because there's a lot of people that want to register for the first time and it makes it hard. Not everyone had the luxury to switch their day around at the last minute, so the NAACP called for a 72-hour extension. In an afternoon press conference, Governor Northam said he approves pushing back the deadline. That deadline is set in our code, and it does not appear that I have the authority to change it. That is up to the courts, and I would support a court-ordered extension of the deadline. Also impacted by the mishap, early voting. In Virginia Beach, we have had, we have processed on average about a thousand voters out of this building alone every day since we started voting on September 18th. So voter turnout is the highest we've seen. Everyone who voted today was handed a provisional ballot instead. In Virginia Beach, I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side.